Hi guys, Chris here, and you're watching Here We Are Running. Welcome back to the channel for another episode in my marathon training, training for the Brighton Marathon, happening on the 10th of April, and now we're in week two. Join me on Wednesday. Uh, yesterday, Tuesday, we did our 9K easy pace run. And the intention is to do nine or 10K today on fairly flattish trails. But the one thing about the weather at the moment is it's rained a lot. So the trails, and especially the ones I'm on today, are particularly muddy. Which gives me a good opportunity to test out the Innovate X Talon Ultra 260 V2 shoes. I want to say a massive thank you to everybody that watched, uh, commented on, hit the thumbs up button, or is even new to the channel since I published week one of the marathon training vlog. Uh, it, it, so, as I said in week one, we will do a comment of the week and I'll reveal that later in this episode. But for next week's comment of the week, let's try and get somebody that has subscribed newly, either in last week's episode or this episode today, comment below and yeah I will try to pick let me know that you're a recent subscriber and I will try and pick one of your comments as comment of the week in week three's vlog Saturday morning but it's New Year's Day so happy new year everyone I have made it just about in time down to park run I'm actually not taking the camera with me on this one uh, it's a beautiful day today uh, sun's out skies are kind of a little bit cloudy but mainly blue uh, i'm just going to go and enjoy a new year's day park run and i shall see you in maybe about 25 minutes and i'll give you a recap Whew, well it was a tough one out there today very muddy incredibly muddy and uh yeah it was tough i felt i put a lot more effort in than last week yet the time of 24 minutes 41 something like that i think that's slower than last week but it's all down to the conditions and they were muddy out there today. But anyway, we roll on and we'll be out for the long run tomorrow. All right, Sunday, which is of course long run day and we're doing 23 kilometers today. Certainly that is the aim in week two on my track marathon training plan. And uh, yeah, if, if this run goes okay, I will say I've been very happy with the way that the first two weeks of the training has progressed and you can see that I've taken with me some hydration now I could probably get through this run without taking any hydration or nutrition but I've decided right from the off to simulate the sort of race conditions where I'll, obviously I will be hydrating during the race so just to get my stomach used to the sort of stuff I'm going to be taking so today we've come out with half a litre of tailwind um, let me know in the comments below do you take hydration on your long runs? If so, what is it? Is it water? Is it a hydration tablet? Or do you use something like Tailwind, which uh, hydrates you and also fuels you? And you'll have noticed with this run here that I'm doing today, is that I am sticking to the pavements because it has been so muddy this week. Every single run pretty much was on the trails in the mud. I actually cleaned up my, my um, Innovate X Talon two, Ultra 260s and they're taking ages to dry so even if I'd wanted to I don't think I would have been out on the trails today uh, sticking to the pavements 
which I think most of the time I will do during my long runs just more realistic to the actual marathon itself but that doesn't mean I will stay away from the trails because as you saw some of the other runs I definitely want to get done on the trails if you missed it on New Year's Day because you were probably having to lie in after a big night celebrating the new year in but if you did miss it then uh, link up there my 2022 running goals video and in that I will reveal to you the marathon related goal and some other sort of interconnected goals as well that are important for the marathon trading so do check out that if you haven't already seen it as I say uh, click on the link that was up there on these training vlogs is get, give you some information on anything that I'm doing differently to what I've done before and and why I'm doing it and is it working and one of the things is if, if you're regular you know that I like to listen to music on my bone conduction headphones when I'm out running helps to sort of keep my mind off of what I'm doing but today I thought you know what I haven't really got any new music to listen to um, I'll, uh, I'll listen to a podcast instead and one of my go-to podcasts is, is Jog On with Harry Morgan. But he's, he's tended to focus on the YouTube channel at the moment, so he's not releasing new ones very regularly. So I'm all up to date on that. So instead I went with uh, 40 Runs, the Long Run podcast. And I've got to say, I've listened to two episodes and it's just completely kept my mind off of the job in hand, the running, the knocking up the, the distance here. And it's also kept my heart rate really well in zone two so big shout out to 40 and uh, the long run podcast i'll link i'll link down below if you're interested last week i asked you all what did you get for Christmas that was running related? And lots of you responded uh, with presents that you got. Some of you didn't get anything running related, which I thought was a little bit of a shame, but you still had some great gifts and a great time at Christmas. But the, uh, the one that I thought was the best answer for all sorts of reasons, and that is comment of the week, it goes to Phil, who lives down under in Sydney. And, you know, Phil, got the best news possible I think just before Christmas and that was that he was cancer free so big shout out to Phil uh, wish him all the best and I know that he's going to now start increasing what he's doing in terms of running getting down to park run more regularly and he's targeting a sub 60 minute 10k later in the year as well so yeah big shout out to feel and what great news that was to hear about. I have definitely stepped up the pace on this final 5k of the long run today because it's the weather's turned. It's got windy, it's raining uh, and I just want to get home. So pace has definitely kicked up a little bit. That's fine. Uh, on your screen now all the runs that I did this week so that you can see how I got what I got up to and also a uh, total distance run for the week and total number of runs which as you see Introducing that park run again this week means that I've really sort of kicked this marathon training off with five runs a week rather than in my plan you saw it as just being four runs, so that's fine. Uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video as always. If you have, do give it a little thumbs up to give the video a like. And if you're new around here and you like watching training type vlogs like this, then why not consider subscribing? But for now guys, goodbye.